Hello and welcome to the Dream Girl Trucking channel. Uh, I don't know why it's called a channel, uh, but it is on YouTube. So uh, this is where you are, this is where I am, and it's awesome to meet you here. My name is Antoinette, and Dream Girl Trucking is for, it's not about like, I keep looking at the camera. Uh, it's not about um, being beautiful. Uh, it's about uh, dreaming, and if you have a dream, if you're working on a dream, because you're either living your dream or you're living somebody else's dream. So, uh, and you got to have a goal. Always got to have a goal. Doesn't matter what it is. Always have a goal. So uh, that's what this is all about. Uh, welcome to my fellow dreamers. I'm always dreaming and scheming, but scheming in a good way because uh, I'm a Christian. I believe God watches me all the time. Praise Jesus, all that good stuff. And whatever you are, you should be sticking to your religion as well. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not here to preach to you, although I could do it. Uh, but I'm, that's not what this channel's about. This channel is about you know just encouraging you or talking about trucking or relationships or anything. So, uh, today I am coming to you from Salt Lake City. I am fixing to go pick up a, a load, a, a loaded trailer that's going to uh, someplace, uh, Gurney or something like that, South Carolina. I don't even know. Um, so, anyway, that's where I'm going to go. And I'm wearing my glasses today because I haven't done a video in a while. And the last one I did, I only had one contact in because... Uh, I had a cut on my eye, so uh, and my eye was just running water, and my nose was just running not water, and it was just, uh, it really hurt. It really did. So I went home, I went to the doctor, and they said, oh, no, that's a bacterial infection because you wear your contacts for two months straight without taking them out, and I'm like, yeah, well, I lose them when I take them out, so they're going to put me on um, day contacts that I throw away every day. Uh, we'll see how that happens, um, how that works out. You know, I don't mind the glasses, but uh, I can't, it's hard when I'm driving into the sun and going, I could get the changey ones, but they don't change fast enough when you go in and out of a tunnel. So uh, I don't like that either. Uh, the clip-on ones, they always break. And, you know, I just don't want to pay extra for the kind that go over my glasses. I could just wear contacts. So... And, and, of course, because I'm a lazy contact wearer, I wear them for two months straight. I even swim in them. I sleep in them. I swim in them. I everything. So, I guess I got what I deserved. <laughs> that's life, you know, but if the shoe fits, wear it. Well, today I want to talk to you about something that's very important to me. It's a member of my family. I have an older sister, and uh, she just turned 65. She's disabled. And um, her name is Jennifer, and uh, she was living in an apartment, and uh, the rent went up, and she was, like, barely able to afford it, and because she gets uh, on her disability, because uh, she just now turned 65, so she's been on disability, um, but she only got $1,100 a month, and her rent went up to, like, 950 and then three months later, they sold the apartments, and the rent went up again, and, you know... If you're only getting eleven hundred a month and nine fifty is your rent to begin with, you're already scrambling. You don't have enough, so she's homeless. And uh, you know, part of her disability is that she has some problems. Let's just say uh, she can't live with people because she gets kind of hard to get along with. We're not friends on Facebook because you know how it is with these people. You love them, but they have these little outbursts, and you know. So uh, anyway, I love her dearly. And uh, I'm the youngest. I just turned 60. And uh, so she's the only, she's the last living member of my family. And uh, so I want to get her an RV and let her put it out in my backyard so she doesn't have to be bounced around. Because she has bounced around, you know, from, from apartment to apartment. And, uh, you know, it just doesn't work out. It's really hard to get on government apartments uh, on the list to get in. It takes years to get in, and then, especially if you live alone, those one bedrooms, it's the senior citizens that get them, and they get in there, and you literally have to wait for them to die before an apartment will come available, where the ones for the two and the three bedrooms, they're easier to get because, you know, the, you've got these mothers that are single, and they, they get hooked up with a guy, and then they don't qualify, and then they move out, so those are easier to get, but for what she needs... She would be on the list for, you know, a long, long time. And she's homeless now. So, 
she's gonna uh, save up for a couple months and uh, and she's gonna stay with me fortunately I'm not there but my poor cousins who live at my house they they're there so <laughs> hopefully everything will be okay though while she's in there so I'm, I'm trying to raise up uh, half the money for the down payment she needs help with the down payment she can make the payments and uh, the utilities you know living in my backyard that would be fine and she'd have her own little place and you know she likes to do gardening or whatever and you know, she could do that, and I wouldn't have to worry about her anymore because I'm, I'm really old school, and I feel like, you know, we should take care of each other, but especially members of our family. So, you know, I, I just can't sleep at night, you know, thinking that she don't have a place or that she's sleeping in her car, and then, of course, she's old, so she fell and she broke her hip. She says it's only cracked, but she's in a lot of pain. She does have um, Medicare Advantage, you know, because of her disability. So she gets her health care, but she's in a lot of pain, and I can't, I can't do, I can't do with her living on the street. I, what would my parents say if they knew that I was just letting that happen, you know? So um, I'm going to chip in two hundred dollars, and I'm, uh, I, we're doing a raffle. Uh, I got some friends of mine that clean houses, and uh, we're raffling off uh, uh, house cleaning tickets on Facebook, and uh, but only for the county that we live in, of course. We're going to do um, that and a crock pot dinner where, you know, we'll pay for the ingredients up to a certain dollar amount, and so you get dinner and a house cleaning, so I'm really trying to help her. Uh, every way that I can um, so and and so I want to ask all you guys if y'all can donate it's only through I'm only going to take donations through the month of May because I don't want to get a donation six months from now because I don't want it I don't really want the IRS coming and say hey hey why are you still taking donations and this is your income and it's taxable and anyway I never know where to look with this camera because I'm like the worst the worst person as far as it goes for knowing any of this stuff I don't know editing or anything I just turn on my tablet or my phone and record myself talking to myself and hope nobody walks by right well right now I'm at love so just a, a, in a bobtail I dropped my trailer last night and bobtailed away it was I'm I'm free I'm free anyway <laughs> Um, I'm going to put my cash app in the description, but it is dollar sign A Brady 1234. So that's dollar sign A Brady, because my last name's Brady, my name's Antoinette Brady 1234. So uh, I'm here, I'm on um, Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and uh, if you guys want to send me a friend request, and by guys, I'm talking to you ladies too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I should just say y'all because I'm tech I'm from Texas so if y'all want to send me a friend request you know send me a um, a uh, usually if I don't if if you don't look like you got a fake profile I'll friend you but if I look on there it says no places to show for work or anything like that just join Facebook you know all of your friends are like wearing lingerie no so <laughs> anyway um, any donation that y'all could give for my sister, oh man, I would be so grateful. I wish there was some prize or something that I could offer y'all, but I don't know what that would be. If y'all have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Again, it's uh, A, it's dollar sign, A Brady 1234 on Cash App and, uh, you know, any anything that you could help with. Um, uh, also, uh, I do have Chime, but I don't know how to get money on it and uh, messenger you can send money that way and zelle so um you know things like that uh, paypal uh but um so you'd have to contact me privately because i really don't feel like putting all that stuff out here i just if y'all could help me help my sister i would really really appreciate that and you know so many seniors are homeless for just this reason and you know they're they're at risk for a crime because they can't defend themselves uh, they die a lot sooner than other people their age because they're homeless and they're not protected and it's just a big dangerous thing and it's you know it's very depressing and sad to see anybody that you love go through that so um, I guess that's why I dream you know y'all know my dream is to uh, buy land uh, five acres three to five acres hopefully five but put some RV pads out there, like four RV pads, so it pays for my uh, house payment, my insurance, my uh, taxes, and, uh, you know, a little fund for um, 
repairs and stuff like that and that way I won't be homeless or holding up for uh, government apartments when I get too old to work either um, so that's that's what I plan to do hope you guys have a plan for your retirement uh, because you know I, I don't want to have to be on here trying to do this for y'all I will but uh, <laughs> I want you guys to take care of yourselves and uh, live your dreams Live your dreams, guys. And uh, and by guys, I mean all of y'all. I'm talking to y'all. I love my females who watch my videos. I, there's not as many of y'all, but I really cherish you guys because y'all are really, really like me. Men, I love y'all too. Not that way. But um, anyway, <laughs> and it's eclipse day, so everybody's crazy. Thank God there's no eclipse here but um, in Salt Lake City. But back in Texas at home, I guess everybody's going nuts i don't know anyway uh, i love you guys thank you for donating and i sure hope that you can any amount is greatly greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye <laughs>